<laughs> and then it's just like, oh, um, they find out that they have the same dad. Yeah. Oh, man. That's the, that's the reason and why. And then they go in for seconds. What? <laughs> Welcome to the worst pre-made ever podcast. How's it all going? My name is Jake. Uh, I'm here with the regular uh, people. I was going to say, what are you guys? Colleagues? Uh, Friends? uh, Definitely Uh. your friends. Friends is far too far. (laughs) But then that implies that we like him. Acquaintances. Oh, okay, yeah, nice. Well, acquaintances is a bit... Okay, no, acquaintances works. Bit of a step I, back for us, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Well, my I, acquaintance... That my I wife also... has become my acquaintance. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. You're yeah. legally bound to me, acquaintance! <laughs> I'm here with my acquaintance that I live with and have a relationship with, Gabby! Hello, everyone. Hello. And then we've also got my other acquaintance, Kath. Hi! Hello! And then... <laughs> My other acquaintance, Ellis. Hello. And my colleague, Alex. Why did you say colleague to me? <laughs> Singled out. Oh, I yeah. do this. Why is Alex for, special? Uh, oh, just for a bit of the bit just of a laugh. To make just me to get right up. Him. Horrible. Yeah, exactly. Welcome, everyone, to the podcast. Um, just a bit of housekeeping before we begin. If you're listening to this on all major podcasting platforms, such as Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, all that, all the other ones, um, you can watch a video version of this on YouTube. Uh, just search for Worst Pre-Made Ever Podcast on YouTube. Also, or if you're if- listening to us on something like Spotify, but you also have an Apple podcast account you should just go follow us on there anyway so then we just get yes. the extra numbers go don't, look better. Yeah. don't forget to and give follow us, us. five star ratings as well if you can yeah don't forget to follow us on, on TripAdvisor. no no sorry don't don't follow us on TripAdvisor. give what? us a five star rate don't worry follow us on whatever podcast and platform you, you can to. give us a five star rating on trust pilot that would subscribe be subscribe <laughs> on the youtube channel and uh, then review us on Facebook Marketplace. Then, yeah, this is the longest ad in the world. In the world <laughs> it's like an ad. It's like supposed to be an intro. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, welcome to the podcast, everybody. Uh, what are we going to be talking about this week then? I don't know. Don't, don't put know us on the spot like that. <laughs> I know. Usually we just go in what and talk segue. about. What yeah. I know. Well, I mean, I mean talk Zelda released and it's, it's broken records. If that helps. What, oh yeah. What Ten released? mil sold in three days. Wow. And bear in mind, it's only on one platform, so that's pretty pretty bananas. Well, uh, so it was really funny actually. Before the podcast, oh, uh, before you, we got started, I was, yeah, I was just checking if Gab- <laughs> <laughs> I was just che- I was just checking if Gabby's okay. Like just before we started the podcast and stuff, I went over to give her a kiss, and then like she then says like, "Oh, you you smell like you smell like a cafeteria." <laughs> <laughs> lunch. What, do like, lunch? What, what does that even mean? Like, because a cafeteria is like, what? It, it, explain you yourself. Like what? a dinner lady. Look, yeah. If anyone has ever been in a cafeteria before, they know the smell that I'm talking about. <laughs> like old, of people, old chip fat. <laughs> yep, but it depends on the cafeteria. Sure. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like your standard school or uh, food hall cafeteria. Groups of people all hanging out together, sweat, uh, food fat, um, just food that's been lying around for a good couple of hours. You know what I mean? So it's all like that kind of mm. steam that's like gathered on the windows. That hint of raw onion that is in every <laughs> single one. Whether they serve yes. onions yes. or not, there's yep. always raw onion smell. Always in there. <laughs> always. Um, yeah, it was just that. It was a visceral like, do you ever smell something and you just get transported back to another yeah. time and dimension? Mm. That that is what it was like, and I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to just insult you. It's okay, it's, <laughs> but it was you, such a like, I've been hit by a wall. <laughs> nostalgic cafeteria smell. Yeah, Evidently, I think it's yeah. uh, just because of the heat at the moment. Yeah, that should be my uh, my musk, shouldn't it? Like. No. Oh, oh, the uh, the cafeteria. (laughs) Cafe (laughs) junk. (laughs) Cafe junk. The smell of rotten potato. Yeah. The smell of regret. Oh, do, you ever, <laughs> do you ever have any like dinner ladies in your school cafeterias that you're fond of? You know what? Um, <laughs> I used to have one who was so f***ing tiny, like she could barely see over the counter to actually oh, really? serve the food. <laughs> um, and her name was Dawn. And it got oh, to the point Dawn. where she actually knew everyone's orders because um, where we Aww. were in sixth form. They had, we had our own little cafe, cafeteria in our, like our break room. 
So um, she was only serving like probably about 60 kids. Um, oh, so yeah. she's got to know everyone? She know all of our orders. She'd be like, you having cheese chips and beans today, love? Like, Shout nah, outs to Dawn. Have a sandwich. We're, we're... She's like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, Dion, Dion. Dawn is too good for this world. I know. She was banging. I know. I don't, that I, is not you know. okay. You know how like there's so many horrible things happening, and then you have people <laughs> like Dawn who like just serving chips, memorized, <laughs> just wanting to check if you wanted your chips, cheese, and beans today, or if you wanted chicken curry, or just you know. You're gonna make me cry. She was lush. Shout out to Dawn. Do you, know, do you guys keep in touch or? No. <laughs> do, you, do you know if she's still alive? If, if, I don't. She probably isn't even still there now. I think she was in her fifties at the time then. Oh right. Oh, they are Dawn. 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 I will Dawn so. in memoriam. Look, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I have such a soft spot for oh. old people. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. I just can't handle it like I, I if i see an old couple holding hands who look like they're hours away from death i will burst into <laughs> tears i will burst into do you, tears do you go into many hospitals gabby and just see people just, just holding hands on life support or something like. <laughs> seriously i just oh yeah i don't know what it is i like i i, I can't emotionally regulate myself with it because i'm like it's so sweet and you know because of the generational gap they probably have some really bad views about shit but yeah. I just pretend that's not real and like it for the fact that there's an old couple in love. So yeah. Just take it for what it is. In, you know? in your brain, and they're like, oh, they met they met it when it was war times and they've been together ever since. And he wrote and, her letters but and they had, had a lovely, <laughs> humble man. In reality, it's all... his eighth wife. She's in her yeah. 20s. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He sold all of his shoes. Oh, so he could, she could buy. He could buy me his uh, the engagement oh, ring. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, just gonna slap down on that thing and just let you know that there's no possible way that anyone <laughs> writing love letters in the World War Two would uh, so unlikely to be alive. It's not even funny. Really? They have what? to be like, they, well, if they got together when they were like 15, 90 something. Now. Yeah. That's why oh, it's so man. rare and treasure, Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think my grandpa was born in nineteen thirty-nine. Yeah. Oh yeah, th yeah. Mine was thirty-three. Most of ours will be in the thirty. Will be thirties. Yeah. Yeah. My my, my grandma was a uh, was a was a pre World War Two baby, so she actually lived through it. Oh really? Wow. And That's my crazy, my my uh, my grandparents who did die also they all served in the one way, but two of them served. Oh, actually, the in the war. Both in the RAF. Yeah. Two, oh, two, nice. two of my grandparents. Oh. Served. Um, one was RAF, one was... It was no, a great uncle served as well who was killed. Oh. Wow. He was fishing and he was torpedoed. No. He was, sorry. <laughs> so he was fishing and he got torpedoed. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Jesus Christ. I, almost, I don't know I went, how he died. I always spat oh, my, my drink on my monitor line. My granddad was a Lancaster bomber or something. Oh, no, my granddad cool. was, a, was a mechanic for a bomber. I just find it so interesting, stuff like that, because so many people have family who were part of it or the stories are still very closely remembered now because of, hmm. you know... It actually not being that long ago and so like mm. I went looking because I was like oh I wonder what parts of my family like what were they doing in the war like you know what was going on and um turns out my great grandfather could not participate because he was a bus driver mm. so, oh, okay. <laughs> so he was he was a necessary employee did he drive the battle bus they they used them for um dropping off uh, troops yeah and things like that in, in, in country to move logistics. So he was just literally essential. Rooting, tooting his way around yeah, well, Glasgow in a bus. So, so bus drivers weren't they were they weren't banned from joining. You could volunteer to join up, but they were never conscripted. Right. Okay. Oh. So you had a choice. You could join up, but a lot of people didn't because their jobs were protected for a reason. Because no, they we... were just as essential as being a soldier. Like if you yeah. can't, you know, if you if the the train system breaks. Or you know, all the train drivers mm -hmm. fuck off or, or, to go yeah. to go to war, or you Gold know, strike all of oh, your sorry, that's... all of your guys who work in the docks, for example. Yeah. yeah, and you lose like an entire dock worth as workers worth of people. Yeah, you've got to retrain everyone up to yeah. be good enough to keep up, you know, supplies and whatnot being unloaded and all that sort of thing. It's it's been yeah. nightmare. So, do you think our job would? be... <laughs> uh, no, I doubt it. Well, it could be if we, we turn to, if, if we turn to you know bolstering spirits, propaganda, all that sort of thing. Then yes, oh, we could do it pro could oh. wartime propaganda. Yeah, it could be. Ah, oh, what propaganda would you push if you were 
don't know. Who fancies killing a German? Off we well, go, guess, lads. Yeah, yeah it kind of <laughs> depends on you know. Kind of depends on the old war. If it was a if it was a justifiable thing, then sure, I'd I'd, I'd parrot a bit of propaganda. But I'd go for you know. I'd go for pro dog propaganda. Pro dog. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, not entirely sure. Who is that? Are you sad? <laughs> Doggy will help raise pro, your Pro spirits. dogging. What? No, I can't. <laughs> Alex, you're so fucking predictable that before I said that, I was like. Alex, Alex is, is gonna, gonna make, make a dogging do- joke. <laughs> I, I set it up for you. I knew you were gonna come in with a punchline, and yet you still laugh. <laughs> I have to, otherwise I'd cry. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, if you want to get in touch with us on anything it. funny to read out, then you can do. Just get in touch with us on our Reddit. Uh, it's r slash worst pre made ever. Uh, send us some stuff in. Um, I thought we were doing that at the end of the podcast. This is the well, end. We're it done. Nice, <laughs> it would be a nice segue into looking at some funny news stories. Well, we can't do it now. Yeah, we can. Why not? Because none we of do them actually don't. have a Reddit, uh, a podcast flare on Reddit. Yes. So if you're typing in there and you want it to be related to the podcast, just um, select that flare. When that goes up, I think, and we actually start picking out some stories to talk about, I think people are going to have a better idea of what we're kind of looking for. So mm. I think, yeah. yeah. Should well, we start since, off with, with some? <laughs> I, 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 since we're in the history, uh, sort of a bit of the history already, I think we can, we can dive into the, the third one that's in there. Which is the uh, the Dutch dude who's probably trying to become Genghis Khan? Oh hey. yeah. Oh okay. Oh, yeah. Well, because you know, you know, like, what is well, it like pillaging three percent? Isn't it like three percent of the world's population or something has, in yeah. some way, shape, or form, has like Genghis Khan's genes or yeah. some? I don't yeah. know if it's true or not. So I take I massive think, citation needed. I think it's like one in two hundred people. people. Yeah, but it's but it's like a, it's like a a, a large proportion because because they were they weren't the nicest people in the world. Let's be honest. But uh, so a Dutch dude has been basically going round the, round the world donating his sperm to sperm banks all over the place. Oh, and there's a, oh. there's a oh. limit on the amount you're allowed to give out into sperm banks for the obvious reason that you know there's a the more Eventually you do the, it, yeah, and like more often it can milliliters. To, what are we talking about? I, I, I'm I, I'm not sure. I, I'd, have, I'd, have to, I'd have to go into the article and have a look. Hopefully, so uh, it's a 41 year old Dutchman is currently facing a lawsuit that aims to forbid him from donating sperm after he allegedly fathered at least 550 kids. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah so he donated Jesus. 13 clinics. Mostly That's in not the that many. Yeah, like... yeah, Jake. He did that in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus but he's also Christ. been to. Right, play. Not, bear in mind that they know that at, at least thirteen clinics that they know of. It's also apparently possibly donated in Ukraine, Denmark, and other places. Oh, um, just oh but to, hang on, oh. that's just in the Netherlands, mm. apparently. Yeah, that's just in the Netherlands alone. Just Jesus quickly, Christ. just go back to Genghis Khan. Sixteen mm. million descendants. There we go. Yeah, oh, I, I knew it was that translates to yeah. that zero point five percent of the male population in the world. Yeah, I thought I thought it was quite a lot. So according to this article. Mm. One professional tracking the guy's movements has told the New York Times in 2021 that he had found mothers of his children in Australia, Italy, Serbia, Germany, Poland, Hungary, Switzerland, Romania, Sweden, Mexico, and the US. Imagine, imagine being one of those kids um, when they're older and you hook up with someone and, you know, you have the fun. And- you just get into this stuff and about your childhood and you both find out you were like um, sperm. That's the reason why you did that. And then it's yeah. just like, oh, um, they find out yeah. that they have the same dad. Yeah. Oh, man. That's the, that's the reason and why. And then they go in for seconds. What? Hold off. Oh, we've done it now. Oh, no. Second episode. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you are nasty. <laughs> You're a nasty so man, Alex. That. <laughs> no, you just killed my husband. <laughs> oh God! Look at this sad there with his little, smug little, little face. face. He's Chris. like, oh, I got a laugh. Oh, oh I got oh. a laugh. Oh, my nose really I annoys me. Oh, I think, um, because I think in Iceland they have, to, for that exact reason, they have an actual <laughs> app that, like, will tell you if, uh, if you're, like, on I, Tinder yeah. or whatever, uh, then you meet up with each other. Uh, you have to. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Excuse you. You have to uh, <laughs> like just double check you're not related because the gene pool there is like so. Uh, Where's that? Sorry. Small. Iceland. Uh, Iceland. Oh really? That's the same for Swansea, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, they don't check. <laughs> yeah, they don't check. <laughs> they don't check. They, don't, they just don't check. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I mean, we've got a similar place in Kent because I'm in Kent, I think. 
um, mm. in Kent. Where, Extra um, doubt. No, Thank where you obviously the, the running joke around Kent is that it is the inbred capital of the world. It is mm, uh, yeah, the yeah, Isle yeah, of Sheppey. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah because yeah, everyone yeah. there has webbed feet and fingers. Yeah, yeah I've heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's, obviously, how, it's, it's, again, it's obviously not true. If you're from there, you've probably heard these things before. So, if you're from there, don't sue us. Um, yeah, I should. We we should say like because we we Sponsy does get a lot of bashing from us, but like it's not like uh, we have a genuine issue with it at all. It's, it's pretty fucking grim. Calm down the people from Swansea. It's not like raised. it's like Coventry. It's it's on the same level as Coventry. It's just it's just not a pleasant place. A lot, a lot of it got bombed. Yeah. During the various wars and such, because of. Port Talbot being nearby, it's mm. a, it's got like a. Well, it had in, it had a lot of industry as well. It had a lot of industry down there. So bear yeah, in mind, we're not saying the people are bad. We're saying yeah. the town, the actual place is un, is is not enough. It's like you know, you walk in, you go through some villages in England and or Wales. It and does like, have God. one of the only Denny's in the UK, though. That's hey! weird. Why yeah. is it in Swansea? <laughs> I know. From My friends and I took a road trip there the other week. Their chicken tendies are banging. Oh, That's wild go. because I have memories of Denny's from when I lived in Auckland and that was not good. That was like... Okay. Um, sorry, I just Googled hmm. Denny's to click on their website and it says, sorry, you have been blocked. <laughs> what did <laughs> I <they> do? What? <laughs> Have they, do they know you from the whole WP thing and they've oh, just like that's so good. No, preemptively not. blocked you from entering Denny's? Oh, wait, uh, no, no, I can click. Oh, I've been blocked as well. No, no, click, click on one of the options under locations. That seems to work. Apparently, clicking the main homepage. You're it's because the main homepage tries to take you to the American one, which we're not allowed to go to. Yeah, oh, if you go to I Denny's see. UK, that works fine. Well, what the bloody hell's going on the American one then? Is it like a party thing? It's like, sorry, mate, can't come in. Oh, wow. To be it's, fair. It's, it's, it's not just, it's not one of the Denny's in it's the UK. It's the only. It's the only Why Denny's the fuck wow. put it in Swansea? <laughs> you think it would maybe be in like London because then it would be like some weird kind of tourist attraction. Really? If it's the only one in the UK, why do they have a fucking website? Like, wait, how are you meant to order? <laughs> <laughs> Collection. Oh yeah, I'll just drive to fucking Swansea and back oh, for a. Oh, hang time. on. They've got. There's a specific Facebook page for Denny's in Swansea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, in in oh. other news, uh, the Metro uh, Metro UK reported that um, a hotel guest woke up with the manager sucking their toes. Uh yeah. <laughs> what a segue. <laughs> I mean, to be honest. I'm looking at the picture of the manager. I can see it. Yeah, I just... <laughs> he looks I, like a panty sniffer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, apparently, oh. uh, it was a dude st from Texas staying oh, overnight yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the Hilton Downtown Nashville Hotel for a work conference. His night's sleep was allegedly interrupted at 5 a.m. when hotel employee David Neal, 52, let himself into Mr. Brennan's room. What? I don't he had cloned a key card to let himself in. And oh, when Mr. Brennan no. woke up, he found his toes were in Neal's mouth. No. That is why? unhinged. I want to know that why. Be, I can imagine if you were the person on the receiving end of that, genuinely traumatizing. Yeah. You would never trust staying in a hotel again. It's so obscure, like the, the chances of that happening to you. Oh, in nil, yeah. And yet that is something that happens in your life. Oh, well, so it was in the Hilton as well. That's yeah. Yeah. Not, Thanks, Google Chrome. As I'm looking at this article, I just get OAP tasered by cop dies. Like, I don't care. Why are you sending me <laughs> random fucking news? I want to look at the guy licking toes. <laughs> I want a toe licker. <laughs> I don't want depressing news. I so want... apparently he claimed that he entered the room because he could smell smoke. And it was coming smoke coming from his toes, and he just had to suck the smoke out. Like, yeah, gotta, gotta, gotta put the fire out. <laughs> 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 what if he was charged for aggravated burglary and assault? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, oh, he was reportedly the night manager of the hotel. Oh, um, God, that makes and sense. And the guy who was assaulted said, I see he was wearing a uniform. He had his name tag on. He was talking to me, but not giving me any sub substantive answers when he was asking him questions like who are you why are you in my room what are you doing oh, here god and yeah, my name's just, um... andy and i'm here to suck your toes <laughs> <laughs> you, you put it say? on your request form didn't you yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you, wanted... With <laughs> you wanted breakfast in the morning and a bit of a toe suck <laughs> <laughs> this is your wake-up call <laughs> 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 oh sorry That's okay rough. you wanted toast sorry my mistake oh. <laughs> toast because <laughs> they're so Stop similar toes. oh it's so good uh yeah that's weird. i always get like scared staying in hotel rooms you know like you know the, you like, get scared no, no not like scared just a bit because i don't trust the door like 
locks it. Because when, when, when I'm at home, right? This is an insight into my life at home. Um, this will be fun for me. Yeah, mm. I'll basically double check the door like 400 times just to make sure that it's locked instead of the, the meanie baddies toe licking, toe lickers come in. Mm. Uh, stop him coming in, just double check it. And then... Um, and then it's actually me in the middle of the night. Ah, <laughs> that's, that's probably a story for another time. The, the not that one. The, uh, the, <laughs> the fact that I, I've got OCD about checking stuff. Oh, but like, right. No, we can talk about it but, now. <laughs> so I could basically like rattle. I basically rattle door handles. You break doors. I don't. <laughs> I've you've broken you've a cracked door a before. door before. Like doing what do you mean you, you've cracked you've one. You pulled the door so hard that the wood's gonna. <laughs> As you've been yanking this. When, when, when was this? What, just with the front door. Oh, yeah. Uh, Do you remember that? The door handle got wobbly. And oh, I had yeah. to tell you, Jake, fucking stop. Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. You well, were just violently make sure it's pulling locked. the door. Why yeah. can't you just anyway. lock the door and just, you know, pull it once? Oh, it's because, locked. Because, Alex, I might not have done it. And I need to remember that I've done it. <laughs> and the, and only the only way, way that I can remember that I've done it <laughs> is to rattle the handle 400 times again. Until it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll be like, oh, the door's broken. I've definitely, it happens, was locked. But what happens if now you do not. it 399 times? You're like, okay, it's locked. And then one person comes along and on that 400th time just touches it and it falls down. And that's your fault because you rattled it so much. But yeah, the only reason true. they got in is because you did lock it, but then you fucked it. Anyway, so, th so th you apply this logic to hotel room doors <laughs> and you can't like, uh, you can't push down on the handle in a hotel room door because it opens yeah, the fucking like door. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, if you put the bolt is across, it, is it locked? You can put the bolt what? across. But then you can not see all hotel the bolts. Doors have no, those. not all of them, but you know, some do. But from your ends, usually well. you can see them. But a lot of bolts still, when you pull the handle down, it will open the door in case yes. you need to get out in a hurry. Yeah. So how do you know if the door's locked? Well, well the thing is, is it doesn't fucking matter. It. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't really fucking matter. And I'll tell you for why. When I went to Edinburgh, right, to meet up with Jake for the first time, <laughs> before Jake arrived, I had a day in that hotel room by myself. Yeah, Ooh. and I was like, uh, typical. Oh, meeting up with a boy. Ooh, I'm gonna get booty. Mm -hmm. And so I was like in the bathroom, naked, shaving <laughs> my legs, getting everything prepped as you should. And as I was standing there, the bathroom was right next to the front door of the room. My door just swung open, <laughs> and a cleaning lady just walked in, yeah, <laughs> saw me bare naked, like oh my God. arse and tits just hanging out, and I just stared at this person. And they stared back and were like, ah! Did you, did you put the, <laughs> in hotel rooms, did you put the little thing over the door handle? They do not disturb. Because if well, you no, don't- Well, no, because I just got in. Yeah, but also but it was, she... they checked me in and it was in the evening. Oh, what time did this happen? Like 10? It was <laughs> Was probably... it the same guy? Do you look like this? Yeah. What? <laughs> was he looking for? What, the looking... cleaning lady? Yes. <laughs> he was wearing a wig. <laughs> And then he just got on his knees and started sucking my toes. It was so weird. I like how you, yeah, but you say that like you didn't pull away or anything. Yeah. Like, like, oh, well, I'm it's gonna, happening, so, yeah, you know. I'm going to stop it. you in a minute. I was just yeah. so shocked. And we just stared at each other until they just, like, bowed out and left. But at that point, like, I, I don't know. I just accepted that this was my life, you know? Well, I mean, there's, once this happened, there's fuck all you can do about it, isn't it? It's like, well... Yeah. Shit. You've seen my bits. <laughs> yeah. What, yeah, what do you do? I don't know. What did you do in that situation? I, I went into freeze mode and I kind of just laughed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just laugh. like, I have this really bad habit of when things are bad. Fucking what's her face from Dinkum? Please leave before I die. My nips are getting cold. Which is when things are bad and I don't know what to do, I tend to just laugh because it's... Laugh awkwardly. That's a pretty standard response. I do the same. Probably shout, like, get the fuck out of my hotel room. Well, it's like when you crashed Grandpa's car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> you crashed Grandpa's car? Yeah, in New Zealand. Uh, oh, did you? I didn't hear that. A crash is like an it extent, it, uh, not extent, it is exaggeration. Crash sounds like it wasn't your fault. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, hang on. It wasn't a crash. What it was did a you slight. Do, dog? It was a slight altercation. Okay. Uh, and to, to give context to it, we've just seen the film called The Whale. So it's a very emotional uh, film. 
They'd all been like a bit uh, like captivated by his... Yeah, that's the word. Traumatized by this amazing performance by Brendan Fraser. We were the only people in the cinema as well, just to give more context to it. So it was a very intimate viewing experience. If you guys haven't seen it, would recommend. Uh, mm. It's it's on my uh, IMDb list. Make sure you give. Make sure you're in a good mood when you see it, because if you see it when you're in a in a depressed mood, it will only make things worse. I've heard it's pretty um, soul, it's pretty soul destroying, isn't it? Yes, but it's really good. Um. Anyway, so then, uh, yeah, basically wasn't uh, get, got in the car because then we we're about to go like hang out with some friends afterwards, and she's like, um, "Oh, uh, are you okay?" And I was like, "Yeah, like, are you okay?" So we we're just checking each, each other's all right. Meanwhile, I'm like reversing the car out of the parking uh, space, and uh, I could just completely forgot that it parked right next to a massive pillar. So then, um, <laughs> uh, the p car like reversed outwards. Um, I then like basically just turned. turned uh, away into the pillar and just completely crushed uh, like um it was a crush the door yeah. it was a crush it was almost like you know if you get a bit of tin foil and you just smoosh yeah. it in your hand that mm. is how soft this car was as it like slowly <laughs> and gently turned into the side of a pillar and i felt it go and, and just crumple was just like, oh no <laughs> so I, I did something pretty similar sort of with uh when i when we first moved here Oh yeah. So I had, my, uh, that, I had my old legacy at the time. The sort of the drive is it's it's the worst drive anyone has ever come up with. So it's yeah. on a slope and there's two uh, pillars either side. Oh, but yeah, they yeah. had the person before had put, had put a gate on it, but they'd hinged the gate on the inside. Right. So the gate hinges were sticking out into the area where the car drives through. Oh my god. And bear in mind oh. you have to turn on a corner to get into the driveway. Oh, yeah. no. So you're turning past two hinges. Yeah. So of course. <laughs> At some point, I fucked up. Miss, uh, as I was getting used to it, misjudged it. F bottom front, front right hand side, <laughs> all along the the, the, the hinge. It's yeah. such a straight the story fuck out of the paintwork. I, I yeah. was like, ah, oh, for fuck's yeah. sake. So in the end, um, I got really pissed off, and now the gates have been yeeted into the void. So they're gone because we don't need them. We gave them to the scrappy. We were like, yeah, take them. Yeah. And then uh, oh. I was like, right, I better get, I want to get this fixed, but I can't, I don't want to have to take the bumper off the car because at the time that, of course, this happens just up, just before Kath has a fucking foot surgery, doesn't it? Oh so I know God. she's going for surgery, so I can't take the bumper off the car and get it sent off <laughs> to be sorted because I'll need the car to move about because Kath can't, because Kath won't be able to walk. Yeah. So I call in the uh, paint correction people. Amazing job. They just drive up the Ford Transit. They grab the paint code from the car and they respray it all for you then and there on your drive. Oh, and it was like awesome. absolutely fucking wow. pristine. Expensive as fuck. So the, the, the patch was probably, I don't know, 25 by 25 centimeters. So not huge. And it cost like 400 quid to get it oh, Jesus. done. But We're it was just paint. <laughs> it wasn't as if it was like um, the actual panels. Yeah, there's no, there was no pushed. dent. It was just it was just paintwork. Yeah, okay. Oh, so, okay. I got, so, I got, so I got it fixed up. And I shit you not, next week was the week when I drove down to yours. Oh no. And then yep. oh, and then, people who don't know that story. And then was going down a country lane down the side, fucking saw a deer run in front of the car quite a way down. Oh, I was dear. like, oh, deer. And I looked at look I, I, in the corner of my headlights, I saw this pair of beady glowing eyes <laughs> from the hedge I was like, oh, you better fucking not. You better not. I'm doing 60 here. You better not. And of course, started slowing down. And of course, it jumps out. starts running across. So slam on the brakes, hit the deer. Somehow the little bastard survives and runs off into the bush. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that was lucky. And then bottom from behind, <laughs> oh. jolted for us. Like oh, I was just, literally, I remember turning off the engine, putting the hazards on, just going, fuck. <laughs> and yeah, some, oh, at least you were fine though. Yeah, like, some dickhead with an apocalypse rear-ended me and then wrote the fucking car off. Oh, man. <laughs> so I just spent 400 quid. Oh, that, no like, all, that little bit of paintwork fix. So my <laughs> nice, pristine <laughs> Japanese import sports car was all nice. And then, boom! And, yeah. Oh. Absolutely decimated. Oh, it's so, so bad. frustrating. I had a pheasant one. Yeah? Oh, yeah? How was that? I just can't hit any drive. I just saw it go fucking spinning off. <laughs> With your car, what, or like did you just go? Oh, fucking... I went up to it with a bat. <laughs> did you just go you fucking <laughs> kick it out of the ass? <laughs> Let it rip! <laughs> yeah, no. So it was my driven with my car. My oh, brother yeah. drives like a complete twat, Lunatic. but he, li he lives in the middle of the countryside, and he's hit quite a lot of stuff. People who but live in the countryside, he hit a big pheasant whilst <laughs> absolutely bombing it. 
People who live but in the countryside are a different breed of driver. They, they, they do tend to drive like maniacs. Yeah. Mm. Um, it is different. I remember when we went to, we did that road trip around Scotland and um, there was four of us in the car and I remember just driving along the road and you spotted the pheasant, Jake, as you were going down because it was one of those long you stretches were going of down. road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, they were going down the road. Because, oh, yeah. um, you know, like in Scotland, they have those like giant long stretches like mm. kind of, of like yeah when you're in the mountains you can just see mm. ahead of you and there was this pheasant and it was not moving it, it was, was just, just like, staring at us like oh, i'm awkward what's that one might go might go for a nice walk later yeah <laughs> just take my time crossing this road and i remember you just like holding <laughs> on to the wheel pyramid. and saying buckle right, up guys <laughs> yeah you were just like guys we're going to hit a pheasant get ready and everyone was like oh and then it was just Badong, badong. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, how far away was it when you saw it? Because it sounds like not... in this story you could have stopped, but instead if... you decided, fuck yeah. this pheasant. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this pheasant in particular. It was because if, of the speed. If I was to stop, the guy would, up behind me would have gone in, and if I was to also slow down, it wouldn't have been enough to kill it outright, and it would yeah. be, I'd have to get out of the car and fucking just like stomp on it or yeah, something. So, I, yeah. so I, I had the choice of not slowing down, but when it's a deer... You've got to be a lot more careful. Obviously, yep. much bigger, much stronger animal. If that comes through the windscreen, that could kill me. Oh, it's like, so I, was like I have to slow down for this. But I mean, if it was, if it was like a small pheasant or something, oh, that, yeah. that thing would be the fucking cheese grate through my front. If I see, if I see any form of animal, even a fucking bird that I know is going to fly away, I'll slow down. I don't care if I get hit in the rear. I'd rather get hit in the rear and fuck my car than kill something. Yeah, but you're not fucking your car. You're also possibly hurting the person. I can give a shit. They're, they're, they're at again. fault. I'm sure yeah, I mean, it's true. They're, they're Why my fucking fault. lights have changed? Yeah, your lights changed again. <laughs> I was going to say, it's gone pink again. Yeah. But yeah, um, so when my brother hit that pheasant, he um, he slivered it because he had a metal grill on the front of his Mondeo. Oh my God. And there was, a, there was about a three or four centimeter gap between the grill and the bonnet as, like, as part of the natural thing. And then each the bit, part of the grill was metal hmm. and it basically acted like a... Like, like a, a you know, like a yeah, like a like a guillotine, or like you know, like when you oh. do like a, a potato cutter, where you push it together and yeah. it cuts all the potatoes. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. yeah. So the pheasant just went oh. and basically got oh, like that uh, makes me got. So he was sad. saying that he opened he, he opened survive. his bonnet afterwards, <laughs> and there was just bits of cooked pheasant <laughs> on, on, on it in his engine, oh, in his engine like fillets of cooked pheasant on his engine bay, where it had been like cooked. <laughs> eviscerated and cooked on the uh, <laughs> on the manifold. Here's a question, right? Would you eat roadkill? No. Um, if I needed to, yes, but not out of choice. And also, you can't kill it yourself. You got to. You can't only pick it up mm. if someone else has killed it. Well, fact, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because because so, like, so say, say we were driving together. You hit something. Yeah. And then I oh, slowed down and picked it up. That's fine. Mm. If you hit it, slowed down and picked it up, it's not. Oh, okay. Oh, That's... guys, look! I hit these chicken nuggets in the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> the only reason yeah, I'm asking. I, th I think I. I if I could see uh, it, yeah, because I know how long it's been there for. Mm. I get that. I, the thing Five is, it's, cold. I understand. <laughs> yeah, that exactly. If I, the reason that I said no, is because I cannot. I don't know that meat isn't regulated. I don't know what that animal's been eating. I don't know what viruses that animal has had. I it's don't true. I, all that kind of shit. You know, I don't know what the fuck is going on with that animal, and so. I just probably wouldn't touch it because I do not know how that will fuck with my body. Mm. But the ethical side of things, I don't see any issue with eating roadkill. It's more just like, like I mean, look, even regulated meat causes fucked up shit. I mean, look at yeah. mad cow disease. Yeah, it's I mean, true. I, there's, there's no need, there'd be no need to eat it. <laughs> like, yeah. like normally, but if you were like stuck in the middle of butt fuck nowhere, and but you have a car and <laughs> gasoline. <laughs> well, no, well, well, no, because like that's what I'm saying. So, like, say, uh, say you were just walking near a road and you saw something hit a car, uh, hit a, a car, hit a hit an animal or something. And right. You was Nick's, start and you. Were I, I've, I've seen one, Nick, but I've just opened it up. <laughs> Nick's, Nick's, just, yeah. Nick's just put a wiki how article in the in uh, the on podcast how to, how thing is, how to eat road thing is, there's, one, there's one picture in there, <laughs> and then there's just I don't know. There's this picture of this woman looking like really sad because it's. <laughs> No, I'm looking right, at the I, one I, sorry, sorry. holding I want to stop. I want to stop you all he's right a, here. He's about to okay. go to number nine. Look at Why, what's on number nine? I know. Just read it. Fucking weird. Oh, wiki hell. What? Okay, all right. Hang on a second. Let's just go through the steps, right? 
<laughs> number one is overcome your squeamishness, okay? Yeah. Number yeah. two is investigate the possibilities. Yeah. Uh, what is that? That's very ambiguous. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> number three, which animals are probably the most suitable. Look at yeah. that guy's face. Number oh. four, no like law. Which is yeah. true, is what Alice is saying. Mm -hmm. Number five, learn the signs of healthy roadkill. Very important. Mm -hmm. so this, Number six, avoid- Bro, this picture <laughs> though, is that squirrel <laughs> dead or alive? Because he's about I to rip know. it apart. Yeah. You raise me. Well, it's either that or he's about to crucify it. <laughs> it's what basically- What's that to do with rabies? It's be, uh, number six is avoid getting rabies. And it's got a picture of a, uh, a person basically like- Crucifying a squirrel by yeah. the arms. Yeah. This, I love wiki, wiki articles, they're great. Number oh. seven, butcher the carcass. Fair enough, <laughs> butcher as you would do. It looks uh, like a little boy doing it though. Dogs. It looks like a uh, like a volcano uh, that he had as a science experiment. Yeah, he looks like, like, yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> like he's skinning someone's leg. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, cook the meat thoroughly, fair enough. Number nine, <laughs> Bless your roadkill. <laughs> You'd never know. Oh, this God. was written. This was probably this is probably written Bless. by an American, would you? Um, oh. I just need to ask about Bless. number eight with that picture. What the fuck is he cooking? I have no it idea. looks like it might be like a mince for a lasagna. Right, yeah. okay. It looks like Maybe. he's making candy floss. Like a bolognese <laughs> or but something. Look how big it, that bowl is. Oh my God, it's a very big bowl. Yeah, if that's a vector cooker. If that's just like the stovetop that should have four different hob bits on it, <laughs> he's fucking got big pan. All of them turned on. Yeah, because <laughs> that pan covers the whole thing. I oh, know. So um, um oh the, god, the, the the community Q. I was about to say yeah, the community Q. Look at look at the top one. I oh, know. Okay. Can I sacrifice can I... my roadkill? <laughs> the response: you, you can, can, but it will not technically be a sacrifice as the roadkill is already dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wiki how. When oh when I skinned God. and gutted my roadkill deer, the meat had a blue tinge to it. Is it safe to eat? No, no. I would not recommend any no. meat yeah. that has blue tinge to what? it. That's normal, yes, Alex. Normal. Like, yes, I it think is. It's we perfectly should, normal. I think we so, should. Every episode, we'll go through a wiki how. <laughs> oh, I'm so game for so that. So if yeah. you look at the tips <laughs> underneath the Q and A. Burning oh, the, the sage while preparing the carcass is a sign of respect and helps purify the kill. <laughs> what? <laughs> is this like if we were all like, I don't know, from the like 10th century or something? Or like, like <laughs> some like pagan ritual stuff. Uh, check for young in pouches or hanging around. <laughs> They may need rescuing and nurturing. Baby joeys are often found in the pouches of hit marsupial. Oh yeah, that like well-known yeah. marsupial a deer. Oh, oh god, it's pretty brutal, but like you know, it happens. And yeah. then they've also got do not consume a domestic animal. So you, what? You're just gonna hit your neighbor's cat and eat it? Oh, delicious! Ooh, yeah. that chihuahua was tasty. I think the idea behind road killers and eating it is an interesting one because it like it is technically. Uh, completely carbon neutral, uh, completely carbon neutral fuel uh, food source, which yeah. is good for the environment, but it does obviously pose Could its you risks. Imagine actually eating. Yeah. Um, but I think, um, but you know, if you take the approach of like, well, look, the animal's good enough to be alive and running around, uh, it's probably fine because the yeah, and the, the cooking process tends to kill a lot of bacteria. A and lot stuff. of bacteria. Mm. I just don't trust it. No, oh, completely understandable. Mm, I, that's completely I, fair. I would, <laughs> I would not like cook it normally. If I was going, if I was cooking it, it would be cooked within. Yeah. And in, I just want to point out that <laughs> fucking Nick's just put in a block of capitals. We do not recommend eating it, as we're saying. Oh, it's all right. He's just highlighted <laughs> it and put it in bold. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Do, yeah, we would not recommend eating. This. No, but the point being is that if if you cook it within an inch of its life, it would probably be safe again citation needed but not yeah, experts probably. in cooking or, or bio anything but either way like there's no need to yeah if you just, have yeah, just, a yeah. need to <laughs> then just get it from the supermarket sure but if not yeah just, just buy it from the sucking supermarket like if you're gonna die if you don't eat something yeah then sure it, you're, you're different. probably fine but yeah but like the only reason i asked that is because i saw a video by a youtuber called max foss shout out to max go check out his channel it's very funny and he basically made a bunch of people uh, he opened a roadkill restaurant for an evening mm. and basically found uh, a load of roadkill that day and then fed it to a bunch of uh, like food critics and they all were like oh my god it's delicious this is really really good they got like a professional chef to cook it all and and mm. yeah 
And then he says, then the yeah, drops the news to them, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> and a lot yeah. of them, like, didn't care. And well, like, it makes, per cool. makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. And I would assume as well that if they have a professional chef, they'd probably do, like, um, exactly. disease testing. Because obviously to make it, you know, not mm. them not get sued into oblivion, the yeah. likelihood is they'll disease tested the meat and everything else. So Yeah, exactly, yeah. If you know the meat's fine yeah, and dandy could, then you just you yeah. just hunted it basically like if it was no a different. restaurant where it was like cool we have actually put things in place to make sure that this is fine and passes health checks i would have no issue with it mm. okay yeah, hunt- yeah yeah I, i'd be actually fine with it yeah we've hunted it with a car yeah <laughs> well it's pretty much what genuinely is pretty much yeah at the end of the day it's kind of what it is yeah, yeah. Got my car launcher ready yeah. because then you know at least that animal didn't die for nothing as well yes. yeah but like, if it can't be regulated, that's where my brain's like, well, yeah. maybe not. Um. It's, it's, it's the usual argument of like, if it's already if it's already dead, like if you can find a use for everything, then hmm. I personally think you should. Just in the same way, you know, like I don't approve of, say for example, like leather. I wouldn't approve of killing a cow for leather. Yeah. But if the cow has already been slaughtered for food and everything else of it is being used, mm-hmm. yeah, it seems stupid to me to just. To mm. bin, the, the, bin the, 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 the skin the animal, yeah. Yeah. and just have it rot or whatever rather yeah. than reusing it for something else. And Since yeah. it's yes. already being killed anyway for another purpose, mm-hmm. we might as well use every single bit of it. Yeah, I think I think modern uh, like meat production also uses uh, like ninety nine point nine percent of the carcass. Yeah, I, I think well. it's, it's most of it. Oh, is, yeah, you they can reuse they can reuse the bones for like flavoring and obviously they get they send it, give it for dogs mm. and whatnot as well. And yeah. I think they can. Don't they grind them up for fertilizer? Yeah, I was also going to say, I think they use them for uh, gelatin. Yes, yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so all call. your yeah. Haribo sweets? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, they're, they are I gluten. think a lot of them they're are vegan, vegan now. now. Are they? I yeah, think a lot we, of them we are, had yeah. them... I had sure. had it for ages, and we got some was it fruit pastels. Love yeah, fruit pastels. I yeah, and they love them. Yeah, they um, they're, they're, it's almost the same. They're a little yeah. bit different. They're a bit more chewy and a bit yeah, more like enough. rubbery. Oh, cool. Nick and obviously they've be... changed how they do like a lot of dyes and stuff like that. So whereas yeah. it, for like for reds and stuff, they would usually, yeah, uh, especially in cosmetics, they would usually use things like carmine, which is like a crushed up beetle mm-hmm. um, yeah. to get that red pigment. And obviously they don't do that now. Yeah. Then like you live your entire life as a beetle in the world. You're like, oh, this is cool. Then you just get crushed up to be made into a bit of a colour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Crap, isn't it? Nowadays, oh, I get to be a gummy bear. <laughs> nowadays it's more expensive to find, go and find the beetle and crush it up and turn it into a dye than it is for them to just like chemically Pump recreate the exact yeah. microplastics. <laughs> yeah, just use the exact same chemical structure and just recreate it again. I know. Imagine having to hunt. Imagine the like. Oh, what's your job? I'm a beetle hunter for yeah. makeup production. No, no, I'm a fucking beetle hunter, mate. But also, guys, oh, don't beetle. forget to bless your Haribo. Yeah. Only if it's roadkill, Harry. Only if it's roadkill. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. So we can bless Haribo then? No, no, only if it's, only only if roadkill. If it's roadkill. I okay. really, I really like the idea of doing, uh, doing a review of a w- WikiHow article every week because yeah, that's yeah, really that funny. <laughs> I think Wiki what we Hel- should do is leave it for Nick to find us the most obscure yeah. one, so yeah. we've not seen it, and then he just hits us with it. Yeah, drops that's it in that's there. Cool. Yeah. Um, think, think, think about you're talking about uh, beetle, like beetle farmers. <laughs> the yeah. one of the weirdest jobs I can think <laughs> of at the gonna... moment. Why? Well, yeah, you know, pet pet stores obviously they sell mealworms and stuff. Uh, yeah. For yeah. Yeah. lizards birds etc well that means some fucker somewhere has a mealworm factory yeah. that oh, is yeah. just constantly mealworm breeding farm, mealworms yeah. which means yeah. there is someone's job is just to walk around and feed those little beetles that birth mealworms and then yeah. shovel mealworms into a box and pack them up and send them off that <laughs> yeah. is someone's actual job yeah. Yeah. is literally a mealworm farmer I think that's I've crazy watched, like a, a YouTube video on it once before that and earthworms as well because people get them for their gardens and stuff like that to oh, keep the okay. soil so okay. like yeah investing in it's like bug farming is uh, mm. really it's really invest important invest in the worms <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, I have worms <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually, it is an issue um, because nowadays, because of the amount of pesticides and stuff that are being used, mm. when was the last time you had a massive bug fly into your windscreen when you were driving? Yeah, not for a while. All mm. of the bugs. Not as often, but yeah. yeah all with of the wings. bugs are basically fucking off. Like, they're just, they're dying. Yeah. Um, and it's a massive, massive issue for. Same with the bees as well. Oh my god, the bees, bees are bugs. Poor bees. bees. Oh, I thought bees were alright. I thought they were bees recovering. Bees are endangered. Uh, everything's endangered. Oh, because yeah. I, I heard they were—they're doing alright. The bees. It depends I on the type of bee. So. 
Mm. I think the honey bees, I think bees in general are pretty low. I think also because of the change of the weather as well, what you're seeing is that certain species are going to places that they should not be going. So there's like yeah. a migration, especially at the yeah. moment of like certain spiders that I'm finding in the house that should not be where they are. Oh. On average, the geographic range of bees and hoverfly species declined by a quarter. Mm. Equivalent oh, yeah. to a loss of 11 species uh, from each square, what, square kilometer. And can I just the UK say... UK is one of the most nature depleted countries in the world. I told apparently. you, Jake. And yet there's... Oh, that's, so and that is from the WWF. Everywhere. <laughs> I've ranted about this a lot because I'm like, it's not to say that the UK doesn't have any wildlife because of course it does, but it significantly compared to the places that I have lived previously or been previously, it is like very. It's ecologically sparse. sterile yeah. compared to a lot of other. Well, it's because we hunted the shit out of everything else beforehand. You'll and find that yes. you'll find it in most in most countries that are old and haven't been colonized and weren't colonized. That the populations of all most big creatures are absolutely decimated. You'll find it all over Central Europe. Mm. Yeah, the, the, like wild boars basically don't exist anymore. They had to reintroduce them into France yeah. and Germany because we we hunted them all to. Also, the UK had bears. Yeah, and beavers, and we've had to reintroduce beavers because we killed them all for food yeah. and fur. And, and as soon like, as things like, like wild wolves and yeah, stuff. wild wolves yeah. and wild dogs. Critical and species wild cats. like there's certain areas that rely on having that species there that balances everything out. And I can't remember what it's called. Is it an indicator? Indicator species? Um, and so beavers and stuff like that, actually, sea otters um, mm -hmm. along the west coast of Canada balances everything. It helps with like the, you know, having the kelp, um, fertilization with the fish and then yeah. the animals that feed off of them. As soon as those were almost hunted to extinction there, uh, everything the went up The whole ecosystem starts falling apart. Exactly. Yeah. So mm. it's, yeah, it's just that kind of stuff I find really interesting because there's so much that we're doing that we could do better that people don't understand as well. Like having a lawn, having grass during uh, like summer, spring, when it's getting really big, you've got weeds in it, you've got flowers. That's fucking great for the bees. Yeah. Bees are like, this is the fucking tits, yeah, man. Wild grass is, is perfect. Yeah. But, but people are like, oh no, we want to have a nice golf lawn with yeah. two millimeter high blades of grass so I can have can play crochet and have picnics on it. Exactly. Like, crochet. Dude, fuck are you, that, Do you man. know anyone that plays crochet? <laughs> it's like croquet. Oh, croquet. <laughs> yeah, but do you know anyone that plays crochet? <laughs> form of knitting. Cass plays crochet. Cass does play crochet. Cass does crochet, yes. I love it. Um, yeah, do you know what I mean? It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I think, it's stupid. If, if we took every single UK garden, I think we could... Uh, it was on the news recently, actually. You could... Um, oh, I can't remember what it said. But like, you could do something with it that's good for <laughs> cool. the Cool! Good, good <laughs> right, story! Yeah, nice joke. <laughs> housing is needed in the UK. The housing market is... There is a lot of, a lot of very empty space where there isn't stuff being built and instead of yeah. building there they're building on top of stuff that's already mm. plumbed to the fucking gunnels yeah i think it's mm -hmm. really difficult because the uk is in a really interesting position and because it's such an old country there's a lot of infrastructure here that is based on you know hundreds of years ago Mm -hmm. that was set Our up. Our railway is Victorian mm -hmm. still. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, But what you're seeing is this mass amount of people compared to the size of the country. And when I look at New Zealand, for example, the whole of that country, which is bigger in land mass than the UK, yeah, is the barren, population it, of London. Yeah. And so you have all this space, and yet in the UK, there's almost like an overpopulation in specific areas, mm -hmm. like down south. For yeah, the, the south is particularly bad it's for it. It's so bad for it, where there's just, there's no room. There's this balancing act of like affordable housing that no one can afford because jobs mm -hmm. aren't paying enough to afford it. Everyone is high demand to be in London and work in London, but the reality of that is actually sometimes very cripplingly depressing, depending mm -hmm. on depressing where depending on where you are. My God, help yep. having strong and, cripp and cripplingly expensive. Don't forget as well, just yeah. for like just normal things like you know a cup of coffee, yeah. twenty quid, <laughs> please. It's like <laughs> yeah. uh, it'll be it'll quite literally be a pound to two pounds. So what well, that's like a uh, dollar seventy mm -hmm. to two dollars fifty. Yeah. It'll take more expensive per singular item yeah. in London than it would right. be elsewhere. Ex like even yeah. um, like 20 miles outside of the city district, yeah. the prices yeah. will just go boop, downwards. London is such an interesting place to me because like going there, having a weekend there, enjoy it. Mm. 
the idea of living there. Oh, I'd hate oh, it's my idea of hell. Like it gives me anxiety in a yeah. way because I, I, you know, it's just that the idea of space to live and breathe in mm. and how much you're charged for that space. And it, it, actually not even just London, talking about cities like New York, uh, you mm. know, I, I saw an article the other day being like, this is the most expensive apartment in New York for the size. And I think you were paying $1,600 American and there was no bathroom or kitchen. It was a what? cupboard that what? had been like transformed into uh, like a bedroom. Was it like on Times Square or something? I don't how, know. I don't how is know. that allowed? I don't know. America. I, I don't is there a communal bathroom? There must, there must be shared or? facilities. There yeah. must be shared facilities. Or do you just shit out the window? Victoria. There was area to hang up your clothes and in a little nook. And apart from that, it was just a room. There's a lot floors. of stuff like that in, in Japan and in Tokyo and other, other mm -hmm. yeah. big cities, but they're I've cheap. seen some in London as well. I saw an advert um, a couple of weeks back for a, a place to rent in London. It was literally like a room with a toilet like oh you in showed the me room. that yeah 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 and like li there was no wall partition or anything the toilet was just in yeah, the middle it, of oh the room so there was a, oh, there was a well, bed in there. one corner a little counter in the other with a microwave on top yeah and a shitter yeah <laughs> it sounds so, like so, a prison so, cell so, to, 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 no to, like, sink literally just yeah, so. a toilet a cabinet with a microwave and a bed no no That's the, 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 you f there was a shower as well was there a shower? Yeah, yeah. If you remember, it was like it literally is about the size of a prison prison cell. Uh, like the bottom oh, right, yeah, no, the bottom right hand corner was a single bed. To the left hand side of that was this, like basically a coffee slash bedside table slash counter with a microwave on it. On the opposite end, maybe I'd say half a meter or less from the end of the single bed was a toilet. <laughs> And then to the to the right hand side of the toilet, there was like a little obviously where they used to, they might have had like an old built in wardrobe or something. There was like a little square cut out, yeah. And they put a shower curtain across there for like, and and there was a basin at the bottom, and that was the shower and water, and that was it. Just imagine going out like on a hot date with someone, right? You know, think, yeah, things are going well. You have glasses of wine, you know, not, things you're hitting it off. You, 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 you know, you go back to your you're a house. man about town. You know, yeah. you you make the love and you have a nice evening, romantic evening, make, and then you on your well. single asleep. bed. <laughs> and then uh, in the morning, she's woken up by uh, a massive <laughs> as some, as the dude's like taking a shit in the same yeah. room. <laughs> like, how does that work? <laughs> Is that what you do after? Yep. It? Straight after sex in the morning, you get up and go to have a well, shit. Just, you know, if it's uh, if if it's a, a normal morning, yeah, probably. 8.30, that's me in the toilet. You're very regular. I'm ridiculously <laughs> He's regular. He's painfully it's regular. If you go on holiday with him, you just know that you need to be at the hotel right about that 8 30, like Mark, because he's just about to shit himself. Yeah, 8 30 and <laughs> maybe 9 45. He goes twice. <laughs> yeah. You have like, like a two part two. poo. Yeah, it's a two part poo. I, I think my I've got, um, dog shits less than I, you. I've had, no, to be fair, I've, I've had two part poos. I always need yeah. a poo when I sit down to do t um, titling. I always, every time I sit down to do it, I always. It's like your stomach's just like, yep, time to go. Yeah. Oh, oh lads, man. lads, I got a winner. Oh, yeah, what, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Check Have you found this. it? No, it's, it's, it's worse. Oh, really? Yeah. This is 50 <laughs> grand for seven square meters, I might point out. Oh, wow. my God. 50 grand. Microwave yeah. under the bed. So we're, yeah. basically, we're basically what? looking at uh, a, a Guardian article that's been posted on uh, in the Guardian Where website, is obviously. The spoiler? There's what can be described as a, a cupboard. It's yeah. got a microwave uh, so, uh, underneath the bed. The bed's about like a meter and a half off the ground. Yeah, it's like a bunk bed with a little like ladder, but I'm assuming that's meant to be also storage as well to get up to it. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that shower room. Oh, look at that mold know, and right. that grouting. Jesus. Where is okay. the toilet? Oh, okay. So if you go, if you scroll down to like the, the fourth picture down, there's a little doorway as you go in. And I think the toilet and bathroom's in there. Yeah, it's just on the right. Yeah. Oh, dude, that is that is depressing. How much is that? Fifty grand. London's smallest micro flat up for sale at fifty thousand quid. I don't yeah, care. Seven square meters. <laughs> I don't Holy care. shit! What? They found tenants to go in there who paid six hundred pound a month for it. Oh my You're god! You're fucking joking. So that's uh. Wait, did you say tenants plural? 
Uh, yeah, well, that's what it says. It says it says it, they, they, it took twenty eight viewings to find tenants, and they paid six hundred pound a month for it. That is unreal. Look, I don't care. I don't care how much you love London. It is not worth it's that. Not Hold on, worth. A, it is no. not worth. Hold on, that. not if you're, not if you're a, in a place a name like that. There, no Neil way. Hudson was he the guy who was sucking toes? <laughs> I, was, I was in america yeah Fucking i just mental. uh it's baffling and it, you know it's not just london though it's it's new york it's, it's yeah these... it's a lot of major H- cities. hang on hang yeah. on hang on the minimum price set by auctioneers is fifty thousand pounds but it's expected to go for more as it was bought for one hundred three thousand pounds in may 2017 a hundred and three grand yes. for seven oh, square wait, wait, meters wait. you went to yes. our old house right yeah I'll, if, I'll give Nick a picture of the outside of our old house before, because it's, it's so it's, it's it's we're not there anymore, so it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm happy for it to for it to be used. Yeah, we bought that house, so which is uh, for people who can't see it, it's a it's a, it was a two bedroom end of terrace with semi detached, like, with, um, semi detached with a quite large uh, rear garden, bit of a front garden on a main road. We bought that for one hundred and five thousand five hundred. Yeah, at the same price as this. One hundred eight thousand five hundred. So basically, Fuck for no. give or take the same price. You can have an entire we bought, house. We bought a two-bedroom house with a massive kitchen and a dining room and a lounge and a huge bathroom with inbuilt storage. That's fucking crazy, man. Yeah. I've just... I think timing's oh, also geez. important for that. You know, the time of when it was purchased, the place, obviously. But, like, I know that a lot of people will probably also say, you know, it depends on where your work is. You know, mm. if you can only find work in London or New York, for example, then people are going to go to those areas. But I guess it's just like my thinking is like, at what cost are you, yeah. you know, because you could find work, uh, depending on what you do, of course, elsewhere, if yeah. you can. But like, I just, I don't think you could pay me enough <laughs> to live in there, to do that, <laughs> no, unless no. I was literally a celebrity millionaire. That could Are buy you just a, saving up and saving up and saving up so you can buy like a house elsewhere or something? Yeah, a, a, probably a normal sized house in mm. West London. Then cool, and I spend like thirty million pounds on it. Sweet, mm. okay, great, but like we're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> just want to um, quickly point out there's something in that article. Just putting it in the general now. Should have a quick read of that. Okay, so uh, TV presenter recently pissed off. They say millennials, but it's basically people of our, of, who are like us. Do you want me to read it? Trying to get onto the. <laughs> yeah, this isn't what it says. This is a TV at all. presenter, <laughs> Kirsty Alsop, recently. Yeah, I'm trying not to call people out directly. It's on the article, it's fine. We're not calling <laughs> it's around. In the it's on the article. Oh, fine, whatever. So, TV presenter Kirsty Alsop recently irked millennials by suggesting that they could afford to buy their own homes if they spent less on the gym, <laughs> easy jet flights, coffee, and Netflix. Critics have pointed out that when she bought her first flat, the average home cost £50,000 and measured 37.4 square meters. 73. Oh, 73.4, <laughs> excuse me. 10 times bigger than the Clapton flat. Yeah. That's so good. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh I better stop spending two hundred thousand to four hundred thousand pounds on, <laughs> on coffee, gym, Netflix, easy yeah. jet flights, and I think you could probably buy every single flight from a from one airport every single day of the year and still not hit two hundred fifty thousand yeah. pounds. He is yeah. one of the yeah. presenters. Does the like she said she shows people are like big houses, right? Mm. Okay. I don't know who she is, but I mean, it just it feels so out of touch. Oh, yeah. well, she's all the. That privilege it, is showing. Yeah, well, the, it's the, the issue is, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, right. the issue is not the is, it's getting mortgages for that amount of money. It's just impossible. Mm. Yeah. If if people don't know, you need about in the UK, you need about you get about four point five, maybe four point seven five, possibly five times if you're like really lucky. Your annual salary yeah. for yeah. a mortgage combined. So bear in mind, else. if you're buying a million pound house. You need 10% of that usually is a minimum. So you need £100,000 in cash. Mm-hmm. For a and then you, if you're buying it yourself or you and your partner or whoever you're buying with, then need to have realistically... Uh, be earning 200k a year between you. To Probably, be able, yeah. Be able, yeah, be yeah. So let, actually, I'll, I'll do the quick, I'll do that, the quick that, math That's now. about right, I think. So it'll be 900k. And then if you need 4.5 times it, so divide by 100. Quick math. Divide by... Uh, 90... Mortgage calculations with Ellis. <laughs> yeah, 96.5. So you need... <laughs> you need to have a salary that combined up to make up £868,500. Uh, 
That's not right. Oh. What? No, no, that's the amount that... Well, you're buying a million pound house and you need 800,000 pound salary. Yeah, your, 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 no, your five times <laughs> combined mortgage would, like, over the, over the time period would have to make up that amount of money. Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. So you, you need to both have, like, salaries of, uh, between you, like, 200k. Yeah, you're, you're, looking, yeah you're looking at 200. Unless yeah, you're you a celebrity. You have 250k, give or take. Or, you, you, you know, it's the, it's the 1%. Like, you say the 1%. unless you're a celebrity, but it also depends on what kind of celebrity. You know, there are celebrities who have more money than <laughs> other celebrities. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The celebrity. I could sell feet pictures, you're right. <laughs> no, it's a good business idea. Thank you, Alex. But you, what yeah, you can do you. is sell feet pictures, but just the measurement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, we've got... They have uh, a field day with my feet. Mm. <laughs> we've got a mortgage advisor, Alice. Uh, career advisor, Alex. Um, <laughs> citation needed. No yeah, citation no. needed. Uh, <laughs> All citation needed for this. We're basing this yeah. off of Basically, random articles, but I think the entire the, podcast we're is basing this off of weird yeah. 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 And it's, not, it's not just. It's not. It's also our own our own personal experience as well. It's not just yeah. random true, articles. Yeah. Yeah. I just couldn't. I just couldn't. And I think like the the idea of what that money goes towards and the the. I don't know. I'd feel claustrophobic. I mean, mm. can you? I, yeah, I wouldn't be able to deal I've with it. Been, just... like in a small student flat. Kind of similar to that one. Do you remember that when I was staying when I first arrived in the country, Jake? Uh, yes. It, I mean, that was like at least three times the size of that. Like I four times the size, maybe. I wouldn't say that. I, I would. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was at least, at least three times. Okay. Bear in mind, bear in mind that's a single, that's really, that's a king size bed plus a single bed next to it of space in that entire room. Yeah. And you had like that's a, that. Uh, a large single. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, when you said that, I was just thinking of large singles in your area. Either way, small room uh, mm. could not do it because yeah. you just don't yeah. feel like you can live in it. Like, have room to, I don't know. Practice. It's like breathe. a cell, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, in fact, I'm pretty sure prison cells have more space than that flat. Yeah. <laughs> Depends yeah, on they the do, prison cells. Because, like, you'd struggle yeah, true, yeah. to make like a full rotation in that room with the space that you've got the floor space you've got there like, yeah you, you look at um prison cells in like sweden i would go to prison just to have that room they're, they're all really <laughs> yeah, nice because they're well, all they about, have to follow regulations they're, they're all about rehabilitation they? that's all they yeah. are and it's the rehab, mental rehab, health rehab, aspect right. let's it. not get into this this is a this is a, a not a subject we well, should go we should delve down the rabbit hole of i'm not going to go well, too in depth what i'm going to say is that that kind of stuff there are regulations in what should be in those cells for example there are no regulations for flats. apart from the basics when it comes to selling flats and shit mm -hmm. like this in london yeah, and or new york so mm -hmm. it's it's baffling that it's legal yeah. really mm. yeah there, there are far more legislations for think for things like prisoners and whatnot that there are for mm -hmm. the, you know the, the, your average Housing home buyer market. or renter or something the protections are just they're not there yeah you know that saying um you should be able to like you know that saying swing a cat like, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. It, I think that should be the baseline thing. Like, if you can't swing a cat, <laughs> you swing it, a cat? So, like, no, 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 no. Actually, no. <laughs> Pete, I think it was scientific measurement. I think it was yeah. Peter who wanted all those like the phrases like that changed. So you know, I'd say swing a cat, or it's I think, swing a bag of flour. No, it was like <laughs> measure, measure. I can't swing a waitrose bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but not a plastic one. A uh, uh, biodegradable uh, exactly. hemp one, please. Thank you. So when you get one of the housing <laughs> inspectors come round they just pull a cat out of the bag yeah exactly yeah. Was, yeah. or one of the one, one of the ones i remember was you know beat a dead horse that theirs was feed a fed horse hang on what was the original don't beat, feed beat, a dead beat horse a dead horse you know, oh, shouldn't beat oh, a dead horse yeah yeah yeah, 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 don't yeah, fuck yeah. A dead horse. There's, there's no point but they in want doing to it, right? feed a fed horse there's no point feeding a fed horse yeah. but the well, the kind, hang on a it second. The kind sense, of is because the, because the horse is still going to eat the food. It is still going to store it as fat, right? Yeah, something like. Are we getting too? Oh, what? Well, okay, so we have a link for it, and some of them are oh, really, 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 really fucking dumb. Really? So you can't no, packed in sardines. No, it's going to be packed in like pickles because of course <laughs> you can't have packed sardines. <laughs> or okay. on a wild goose chase. No, you've got to be out chasing rainbows. Oh, what? what? <laughs> or what about if you've got ants in your pants? No, it's pepper in your pants. I've got pepper you can, in my You pants. can see it. This is the way they say it when it's like, harmful, walk on eggshells. Helpful, walk on broken glass. Cry over, <laughs> <laughs> cry over spilled milk. No, cry over burnt toast. 
Yeah. <laughs> Cry over kill two, toast. Kill two birds with one stone. Feed yeah. two birds with one scone. <laughs> oh, God. What Where the is this fuck? list? Uh, take the bull by the horns. Mm, take the flower by the thorns. <laughs> What? what? What the fuck? The flower doesn't have thorns, neither does wheat. What the fuck's going on? Is this yeah. like an officially released? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is this, this is, is on the Peter a website. <laughs> be a guinea pig. No, be a test tube. Oh, that's amazing. They hold little... your horses. Hold the phone. Although I don't like hold the phone. To be fair, I do hold the like fucking what? phone. Hold the phone. Um. Oh, they got little little graphics. I love this well. one. It's meant to be for children, right? Open a can of worms <laughs> and they've got open Pandora's box. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, just throwing the classical Greek terminology in there. People are going, really? Kids are They're really, really going to understand that. that one. Yeah, exactly. Oh, thank God. Bring, for home, oh, so bring home the bacon. No, bring home bring. the bagels. <laughs> no, no one likes bagels over bacon. I do. No, bring bacon home the bagels. More than one <laughs> ways to skin a cat. There's more than one way to peel a potato. <laughs> no, oh my God. It's a what? saying. It's just, it's not, no one's actually like How about, about, and to top it all off, put all your eggs in one basket. No, you have to put all your berries in one bowl. Oh no. Oh, it's so fucking sweet. Peter, go fuck yourself. Seriously. Not just yeah. no one Peter, takes any of those seriously. Thank you everyone for listening. Are we going to finish off with a mean comment? Oh yeah, we're going to do our mean comments section, don't we? Um, can, I, can I start off with, unfortunately, another Gabby related one, but I think it's so... Oh, why? It's so stupid. Is this just turned into rag on Gabby? No, no, it's, 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 it's a really stupid one, so you'll understand why. Okay, go on. If you have watched any of our stuff or listened for the past, like, few minutes, you'll know, you know, how we talk. I think I yeah. know which one. Uh, this is on the 5 million views yeah. on the channel thing. I wish Gabby would stop swearing and stop using inappropriate words all the time. I don't like her. Jake, Kath, you're the best. Love you, stay safe, keep making funny videos. <laughs> Jeez, like, Gabby! I, I'm so, so I'm so sorry for swearing, like, because I am the only <laughs> one who does that, and yeah. that is on me. And I Posse mouth. profusely <laughs> apologize, my good sirs. It's just not good enough, Gabby. Oh. You please do better. I just, yeah, that was ridiculous. Also, I don't know if if you are a long time fan, you'll probably be aware of the fact that uh, when we do uh, early access release videos. We always do a little preamble along the lines of, look, you don't have to subscribe. We just really appreciate it if you do, because it helps yep. us. Um, some people do not read that. Um, and we're very upset by one of the <laughs> early access videos that we promoted on the page. <clears throat> and they say, pay to watch on YouTube. I wish you the best. But that tendency, I won't support. This was the last time I clicked on your videos. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the it's like a modern day Shakespeare, isn't it? It's yeah. so like yeah. poetically written. Yeah, yeah. Which oh, you know, like I, I get it. I get it. You it comes up quite often still on yeah. the early access. Like, I still dude, see the same couple of people saying it. it's like, dude, dude you, don't, you don't have to it's pay. It's early access. You're not paying for anything, really. Just yeah. wait until yeah. Thursday. Like, yeah. That's when the video comes out and you can watch it for free. Wait till Thursday and shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 we don't we don't put anything anything behind a paywall actually no, no. we've made it our uh, absolute mission when we started this channel not to offer any specific um stuff behind a paywall yeah like, i think we did just, we did start doing some extra streams at one point but then we stopped doing that because they, they just weren't working yeah and but then, they like, all got released anyway they got released for free on the live stream archive so oh, like yeah, shit, they did yep no, so it's true. Yeah. It's, we've gone out of our way not to do that and not to leverage money out of the community yeah. because it's just, yeah. it's just, it's not, it's not the way, it's not the way to do it. Just, just make good shit and give people the option if they want to support us, then that's cool. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't mm -hmm. have to. In fact, don't support us. Like, because it's, we don't want to feel, we don't want to pressure anyone into anything. I think so, I've, like, I've got a good one here. <clears throat> oh, oh, go on. <laughs> Honestly, I usually like your playthrough of games, but this is just fucking stupid. From what I can see, you have the multiplayer mod, Seamless Co-op. You literally did all that dumb PvP shit on purpose, and it's so boring, I was actually kind of excited to see you guys try and play the game. There's no punctuation. But the fact that you kill each other non-stop, it faked and fucking boring. What a way to sell out. <laughs> I don't know. All your, all, all, your <laughs> all your videos lately have in the same way I'm genuinely about to unsubscribe and I've been here since almost the beginning. You really got to get back to doing you should be because this is bullshitting your true fans. 
<laughs> it's not funny or entertaining to watch. It's honestly just cringe. Come on, man. No wonder your subscriber count has been going down rather than up. Maybe you should really take a sit down and think about the direction you've been going. Jesus Christ, there's Is so much... It? It's not... <laughs> it. it just kept going. I'm yeah. speechless. I just... Oh my God. It's just perfect. But also... And the thing is, like, he says, like, it's not like your old videos. The video format's not changed at no. all it's like for it's... four years. Yeah. We have never, ever, once done a game playthrough. Is it because and the analytics ever. say that the subscriber count's going up? It's like yeah. I mean, it very is, slowly, it's, admittedly, it's, but it is going up. It's never gone down. We've no. never had a month where we've had negative subs. No. Like, ever. <laughs> According to this guy, we have. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Um, also, there was a second post by someone who, you know, the original one that Ellis brought up, mm. saying, Hi, Jake and Kath. Can you tell Gabby to seriously stop swearing when you're playing The Sims and tell her to stop using inappropriate words all the time, please? Guys, stay safe. Keep making funny videos. Can I, Kath, and more videos, not Gabby, please, Jake? Lots of love to you. <laughs> Someone's there. Zero punctuation. But also, is I have more of a fucking potty mouth than Gabby does. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I just. Oh, I don't know. It, like, <laughs> I oh use swearing, like punctuation. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah don't swear. <laughs> oh, it's so uh, good. So, thanks for sending those mean comments in. Yeah. Can, well, can uh, I get one more in before we finish? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. So, uh, dude, uh, dude, uh, dude, we've uh, got a year's in... worth to catch up on. It's yeah, fine. well, this, well, this links it. into what we've been talking about as well. So, it's a bit of like a, a callback. So, okay. it's about the, well, the, the charity streams. Oh. Charity stream video, but it was locked away behind a paid member wall till several days later when it hit freemium state. I don't know how a YouTube video can be freemium, but anyway, we'll, gl we'll get back to that. <laughs> right. Hope the paid membership you guys got for those days went to the Red Cross also when folks paid to watch it. Right, first of all, <laughs> you didn't pay to watch it, they paid to see it a little bit early, because we release every video every Thursday at the same time, every week. That's the only thing they get. And I don't know what the fuck you think a freemium state is on YouTube. It's <laughs> kind of free, but like you, you're even if you're watching on YouTube with ads on, you're still paying Google yeah, money for your data. With your like time because you're viewing yeah. an ad. At the end of the day, it's a video that is up for free. Just because we had it on early access does not ma magically make it a paid for video. We can happily educate everyone if they would like. So if you do have any qualms or like, oh, can I have a creepy stuff? one? Yeah. yeah, go on. So this was on oh. my personal Instagram. Okay. Oh, I post no, 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 it's not by me. <laughs> I posted a picture of Jake pretending that he was flying off the side of a boat, um, because he was just <laughs> apparently that's what he wanted to do that day. He was pulling out the dad jokes. It was fine. Right. Someone comments and goes, "Man, I love Jake. Gabby, please let me have him. He can act like a little puppy for me." Oh God! Well, what did terrifying. I ever know about that one? Yum yum! yum, yum. yum. Oh, I got yum, yum yummed big time! Holy shit! You can act like a little puppy for me. Yeah. Oh God! So there we go. I, I can just Not give you podcast. away. Apparently, apparently, I own you, and I can just hand you off. So <laughs> that's fine. I'm sure Peter would have a something to say on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Peter would not be a fan of that comment. Thank you very much. Because <laughs> yeah. you mentioned the word puppies. Uh, um, yeah. All right, then. Let's end this podcast here. Thanks very much, everyone, for listening or and or watching. Uh, don't forget to post <laughs> stuff that we'd like to see on the Reddit. R slash worst pre-made ever. Um, Just to yeah. end it. Just to end it. Nick, if you could flash this up on the end of the video. There was one person on Reddit who says, Jonk looks like human Shrek from Shrek 2, I think it was. And they have a side-by-side -side comparison. Oh, yeah. You. I forgot about that. That's great. That's amazing. I wish I... That's, I mean, that's a compliment because that guy's like... That guy's that fucking neck. built, dude. Look at that. Look at that, that guy. That is Shrek. Yeah, I know. Look at him. Look at that chiseled jaw. Yeah, no, Jeez. You, you haven't got any of that. I think he's mainly <laughs> facially in the hair. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, the hair is pretty much spot on. <laughs> yeah, back nice. then. Nailed it. Perfect. But yeah, if, uh, if you've got anything to send us, uh, send us it on the Reddit, uh, r slash worst pre-made ever. Thanks very much for listening and or watching. Uh, we'll be back next week with some more podcasting action. Yep. Until then, take care. And Bye. we'll see you then. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye, Bye. Dr. Bye. Nick. Bye.